<laughs> Where you deal me at, man? I thought about bringing good, 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 good. Big brother deal me. Being a songwriter and producer, father, husband, dog breeder, to be able to jump from one thing to the next just keeps life exciting because I never know what's going to happen. I keep it playing while some choose to play it safe. Go check the resume, it's risky business in the A, in the A, in the A, in the A, in the A. Business wise, I was taught by L.A. Reid. He always taught me to invest in what you know and with Outkast, like when we first got our first publishing check, we went out and bought equipment to produce and then we started producing on our second album. We were just investing in what you know and investing in yourself. It, just, it keeps rolling over. Me and my brother are dog lovers, so it was like a natural progression. Pitfall Kennels, we do American Bullies, English Bulldogs, and French Bulldogs. They say you don't mix family and business, but my brother's dedicated to it. His work ethic is incredible. Seven in the morning, he's up. I'm up early in the morning, you come out here, let them run around, let them play, exercise a little bit, feed them, clean up, pressure wash the kennels out. It's an all day operation for me. It never stops, no days off. When I was going to college, I wanted to be a veterinarian. And I always know I wanted to take care of dogs, so. It's always been like a love for the animal. Huh? How'd that feel? <laughs> Growing up, our Uncle Ricky had chows, from blues to whites to chocolates, all different colors, and he used to wear fur coats and walk around the projects with precious dogs ever. I've been yeah, trying to- be like the first exotic dog we ever saw, especially in the projects, you know, see stuff like that. But he would never give us one. Never. We used to beg him, like, uh, come on. I think he gave us one one time, but it was, um, it was. I think it was a mutt, though. He never gave us a purebred dog, yeah. but it's, it's all right, though. And then eventually we would see stray dogs on the street and, like, nurse them back to health and, and keep them as long or hide them from our mom until she found out, you know, so it turns into an infatuation. The first pitfall kennels we had, like, with seven runs, we had, like, maybe about six or seven dogs. You know, big, muscular pit bull terriers started kind of breeding just to see what we can get. And we started importing dogs from California and Nevada and, and everything else just to build our own bloodline. I'd be in the studio in the daytime working on AT Aliens, the album. James was with the dogs and did everything from delivering puppies, administering the oxytocin shots and things like that. So it was really like a real uh, a hood veterinarian. Once, you know, started doing music and accumulating wealth to invest in businesses and things like that, we got serious about it. What? Yeah, crazy. He gonna get wilder, but he's not gonna get no talk. He's so he gonna be smaller than Big Junior. Way smaller, eight hey, months old. When we built this, this was all trees at first. So we cleared about maybe an acre and a half cleared. This is state of the art, hot water, cold water. Air conditioner, heat, back behind there, you got the fields where they can run free and all that, so they're not just cooped up all day long. You know what I'm saying? It's like the rich caught in the dogs. Our first dogs, 100 pound dogs, like bone, everything's solid. And then now things have come down, so everything's kind of sh down. shrunk down. So we went from pits to bullies, which is the same dog, it's just a shorter version of it. These are the best, loyal, most family oriented dogs ever. You know what I mean? And we're here to dispel the stigma that's been put on it for so long. Our buddy named Tony, he's an OG in the game. He teaches my brother certain things, and he's like a mentor, somebody else who has the bullies. Knowledge is the key of anything. If you take Terrier back to Ireland and England, they were bred for specific reasons. And in America, they just start doing the wrong thing with them. Even with the bullies and everybody like, oh, oh, they're dangerous. Or, no, no, they're not. You treat them like you treat your kids. This kind of dog, if a guy ride around in a Bentley or he ride around in a Mercedes and he want to show off, these type of dogs were showing off, show dogs. I um, also have English Bulldogs and French Bulldogs, which to me have taken the place of the Yorkie as the toy dog, you know what I mean? The personality on these dogs is like no other. I just love to watch them interact with each other, almost like watching kids play. As far as the English Bulldog go, like, this right here is my ultimate look. Short, very short body, compact. He don't like oh, a lot of leg on this dog. No, nah, there you go. I don't, don't the leg. Yeah. Yeah, we, no, we no tell legs. too much leg. Yeah. We only like legs on strippers. Every time a dog come to heat, we don't really just breed them. Like a dog has seven puppies, we might keep like 
four of them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We may have a couple of litters a year. Because it's a lot that goes into actually, you know, raising them. You know, when they're born, you know, it's like putting them in an incubator like any, any newborn. It's, you know, they're getting pure oxygen ran into their lungs. Keeping them strong, too. Really, I don't take naps, because when she move, I'm up. Like, I'm, I'm up all night. These registered pet shops in the mall where you go get pure breed dogs from, and those are some of the biggest puppy mills, puppy mills ever. To see people with that uh, many dogs, like, in one area. No bigger than this table for months at a time. This is just some evil shit. I'm not just gonna put my name on something just to make a buck. These are like family members we got. <laughs> just like the music, we strive to be the best in everything we do. We're a team and we're really just getting started. But what I wanna do when it's all said and done is just sit back with my animals in the midst of the trees out here in the forest and just be peaceful. Yeah.